Hey guys, home from work, obviously, and I'm here today to talk to you about compost. There seems to be a lot of misconceptions concerning compost. I talk a lot, I guess, about compost, and everyone's negative about it. Um, the first thing people say is, ooh, doesn't that stink? Um, no, in fact, it mine doesn't stink. If you do it properly, there's not going to be any smell. It smells, I don't know, like dirt. You know, how does dirt smell? It may not be pleasant smell to some people, but to me, dirt, dirt is dirt. We're about, we're what, 50 something days until fall when a lot of us are gonna have leaves falling on the ground. This is a Cherokee, I'm sorry, Confederate Rose hibiscus behind me, it's hit me in the head. Um, but anyway, um, a lot of us are going to have oak leaves and other trees falling on the ground and I get massive amounts. And the question is, what do you do with those? Well, what I do is I rake them all up and I put them in my compost bin and then a year later I have something beneficial to put on my garden. Um, I don't send it to the landfill, so that's a good thing. I don't use garbage bags to add to the landfill. And it saves you money because you don't have to go out and buy compost if you're a gardener. But a lot of garden, a lot of gardeners, like I said, don't don't have a compost bin or compost pile because of the misconceptions concerning, you know, how hard it is, or the smell, or the bugs, or the mice, or all the different things that I've heard people say about composting. Anyway, I do things a little differently, I guess, from a lot of what I've seen on the internet. Um, I don't turn my compost. I just add layer after layer after layer, um, brown and green. Um, so you have layers. You wouldn't want to put 10 layers of, say, cardboard in there and then throw a couple of uh, celery sticks or something on there and then some more cardboard. That's, that's not a good layering system. I don't do that. So I don't have, you know, that problem. Some people tear up their cardboard. I don't. I just, I use, I did it first. I would sit there and try to rip, rip that cardboard up, but I have arthritis. Last thing I want to do is be sitting there and trying to tear cardboard up. Um, what else do people do? Water it. I don't water my compost bin. I know here in Harris County, in my part of Texas, we get about 55, 56 inches of rain a year. Maybe that's why I don't have to water mine. Maybe you're in a more desert area and you don't have to water yours. I'm not sure why people are watering. I mean, some of the states that I'm hearing people are watering their compost bin. It, I would think they get about the same amount of rain, if not more than we do. Um, I don't know. I don't cover my compost bin. I don't stick a thermometer in it and see if it's at the right temperature. I don't do any of those things. I, you know. I'm, I'm not a lazy gardener. I, I just, I don't see doing things that aren't necessary. And for me, in my garden, in my climate, it is not necessary to do all those things. Now, I should add that my chicken coops do get in my compost bin and they do stir, you know, look around in there for what they might want to eat. So they kind of stir it um, as far as turning it goes. Um, but yeah, I just make sure I layer it. Things that I add to my compost bin are cardboard, um, grass clippings, leaves. Um, if there's some sort of vegetation I cut off, like my elephant ears or something else, I add that. Um, I add hay from my chicken coop. I add the manure from my chicken coop. Um, let's see, I add all of our vegetable scraps, our fruit scraps. Um, eggshell. Oh, and when we go fishing, if we don't use all of the worms we buy, then I will dump that, the worm castings and worms, into my compost bin. But yeah, I mean, composting is not hard. It's not smelling. It doesn't require hardly any work at all. The most work I do with my compost bin is when it's ready and I take a wheelbarrow over there and put it in front of it and start shoveling into it and take it and spread it around my plants. That's the most involved that I personally am with my compost. 
um, I don't sit there and worry, do, do I have enough brown and do I have enough green? Just my daily routine makes sure that I have enough of a balance. You know, from my husband's coffee grounds in the morning to his tea bags at night. You know, my vegetables that I cut up. Everything just sort of magically balances. But anyway, I'm going to show you my compost bin, which we recently emptied so we can relocate it before the fall leaves start. And then, temporarily, we've been putting things in this one garden bed that I have. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave that there to do its thing for the rest of the winter and start my new compost bin in its new, in its, when it gets to its new location this weekend. But yeah, if you want to start a compost bin, why don't you at least try it for one year and you'll see that it's not this negative thing that it's been made into and you might just help the uh, environment a little. Let me show you my compost bin. I'm trying, I'm trying to keep my shadow out of the way because the sun's behind me, but this is my normal compost bin and it's empty right now for the most part because like I said, we're about to move it. This chicken wire goes across the front to hold everything and I unstaple it when I'm going to be emptying it. I can just pull the wheelbarrow up in front of it and just scoop everything into it with a shovel and then go spread it wherever I want. And it used to be a dog house that was made for a guest dog that was here for a couple of weeks. And when we were done with it, my husband just threw it together real quick. We were done with it. I made it into a compost bin. So this is a little higher than my waist. And I'm 5'5", five five, so I don't know. It's at least 3 feet, 3 feet tall. At least that wide. Um, by October, November, this thing's going to be full to the top with the leaves and everything else. Um, <clears throat> by the time I'm ready to use it, it's gonna be compacted to about here. That's how far from up there down to here is about how far that stuff compacts after sitting in composting. And um, this is a Folgers can that I used to put the compost in. Um, the, all the stuff in the, our vegetables, eggs, whatever. I know it's kind of nasty. And um, when it's full, then I bring it out here. I'm gonna take the lid off, and I dump it in what is right now my temporary compost bin until the other one's moved. And any minute now, the chickens will be over here looking to see if there's something for them. Just take the can back into the house and rinse it out real good so it doesn't smell inside the house because we don't want any smells. We don't want bugs and we don't want smells. So anyway, and this one, once we get the other, the normal compost bin moved over to where it's gonna be going, I'll stop using this one. I'll throw some more stuff on top of this. And then this one will just sit here until next spring when I need it. I probably will just plant some plants straight in here and add some soil. So if you aren't composting for the reasons that I mentioned, um, you think it's gonna stink or be hard or you know whatever I hope I've alleviated some of that I, I hope I I've at least made you start thinking about starting your own, own compost bin if you have any questions or comments you can leave it in the comment section and I'll respond thank you and have a nice day